today's video, I'll just be updating you on how my aquaponics system looks. You can see my greenhouse here behind me. So it's getting hot now, so I put this temporary shade cover on top. I did order some bigger pieces so I can cover that completely, but that is what I'm using at the moment to cover it. But you can see that is my greenhouse behind me, and I'll give you a tour of how it looks. You can see my greenhouse right here. You can see that temporary shade cloth. There's just some pieces I had. But then you see all the wrinkles in the plastic. So I think when I did put the plastic on, it wasn't hot enough outside, so I couldn't stretch it enough. So that is why now, as the weather is getting warmer, the plastic is stretching. So if I wanted to take that away, what I would do is undo the wiggle wire tracks here and just pull it down as well, probably on the rim of the greenhouse as well. But you can see the outside of that. I have my tomatoes cages out here. Some tomatoes, need to get some more cages. But then this is the door I have. And then what I'll do later on is actually get some magnets and put them along here and along here so that this thing seals and then when I go inside it can close as well. And then I have this screen here for ventilation because now it's getting hotter. So I have this here, use this plastic zipper stuff thing and then it's rolled up there. I'll put one on that side as well make a frame there so I have the ventilation go through. Right now I have that fan there that is helping with the ventilation so air blows through here and then goes out through there. So in the greenhouse. So you can see I have my floating floating rafts here and here and then I have air circulation going underneath to these, this one and then I still need to fix this one and get air circulation down here. I'll show you how I did it. Did the air circulation in another movie video. But you can see the rafts. And then I have what I'm gonna add later is actually this. This is a sump tank from an aquarium. So what I'll do is add it over here in this spot right here. So that tubing, instead of going directly in there, I'll have it go into here and the overflow into here. So this is actually a better way to explain the mechanical filtration if you watch one of my previous videos. So basically how that works is the water comes in from here, goes here, hits this barrier, and then it has to go down, and then it comes back up from this hole and over so the solids are able to settle. So that was the idea of the mechanical filter I made, which is over there but it, it's not working so well since I didn't seal it on the sides of the mechanical filter over there so this will work better so I'll put that there and also put some uh, activated carbon in here to act as a filter source so that is will go there later and then here's my compost bin you saw I made before it was for when it was cold to heat up the greenhouse but by the time it started to work the weather actually started to get warming so couldn't really test if it was doing its job properly because it started to get warm anyway I built it too late but I'll probably take this out so I can have more space I'll move this down this way that's that'll be a, a grow bed with a lot of hydroton so that'll be a lot of space so I'll move it down this way and then my plan is to put either multiple tanks in here for different types of fish, so different IBC totes. Take that out because I can put two IBC totes and replace it. If I am able to find the IBC totes, I'll do that. If not, I could also build a frame and put a liner in here and make a giant tank so I can have more space for fish. So you can also see I have my two other two hydroton grow beds over here, and then my duckweed over here or fairy's moss this is to feed the fish and then I'll put this on here I just didn't put it there but I put it on and it created creates a suction I'll have to drill a hole in that's to prevent algae from growing in here you can see that that's a, if you ever want to do duckweed that's a good setup right there oh, it got blurry for a second. Okay. that's a good setup because the duckweed doesn't go down here because I have this container and then there's holes at the bottom where the water is the water comes through here so that is the duckweed. I had to take it out a lot because it grows quite fast. 
And then here is my external pump to my sump tank. And you can see that. And then from my external pump, it goes along here into the tank over there. So as I mentioned earlier, I plan to change up this plumbing so I can put more fish tanks in it. And then I have another another sump tank like the one I showed you over there that I might put here and then have these grow beds, these two grow beds run into it and then overflow into here. We'll see about that though later on. And then you can see I have some plants growing. But then my fish did get sick. So now, in the last video you saw that I treated them. So I'm leaving in, them in here to make sure that they're fine. The water's getting green because there's nothing covering it or a UV light. So that's just temporary. You can see. And then I made this grow bed here a long time ago. When I was first going to start it. But since I have changed the plans, I'll probably take it out. It takes up some more space and do something else. And then here is the tank. You can see the water is pretty clear. And that's a solid lifting overflow. And here's where it comes from my tank. So I put this cover here to protect it from the sun because the sun causes the water to turn green quite quickly. But you can see how that is. And then if you watch my other videos, you have seen these filters as well. So I have two different filters here. This is a swirl filter and this is the mechanical filter I was mentioning about. You can see the kind of the idea, it has the barriers there and then also these filter pads to catch things, but it hasn't been working the best. I guess I got some duckweed in here as well. Oh, that's duckweed and I got fairy moss over there. Okay, yeah, you can see the difference, you see? That is how duckweed looks like. It's kind of interesting why I have that here. And then that is fairy's moth. And then here is my swirl, fil swirl filter. So this one's doing its good job well. You can see the solids at the bottom. Clean it out when I redo everything. But actually, the plan is I'll probably I had got some stuff on Craigslist, so I'm gonna replace these with conical tanks, and I'll change this, make it into a different kind of filter, probably a bio filter. Keep us keep a swill for us, though. But that will change. So I loaded all these in my truck. I got a good deal on them. So the plan is to make some filters from our aquaponics system. So the good thing about the cone at the bottom is all the solids could drain out of there. So I'm gonna hook this up when I get the chance and change a lot in my aquaponics system so you can see. Loaded them on here and brought them home. There, I don't think they were used at all. You can see these ones are still wrapped. It was a company that wasn't, or changed their plans and just needed to get rid of some stuff. So I got these. You can see here. So that is pretty much my greenhouse as of now. Still have a lot to do. Oh, and then I have this massive pumpkin plant. Probably take it out though because it needs bees and stuff to pollinate it. I wanted to grow I wanted it to grow down here. <laughs> but of course it doesn't do that. So see, I'll probably take it out and put it in the regular garden. But you can see this thing is huge. You know the funny thing is sometimes my mom and I have a competition if we plant seeds at the same time. And we did, she, so basically we cut open the pumpkin and it had all these seeds in there and some of them were already germinated and had roots and growing. So she took some and I took one and put it in here and mine just took off. Hers are still small so you can see, how, I'll show you the, show you, show you that. But you can see my garden or my aquaponic system. It's getting there slowly, but it's pretty cool. So yeah, right here is where I'll put another screen for ventilation. 
This is definitely during the summer it gets hot. And the shade cloth is important, so I'll get a bigger piece that will cover the whole thing, basically. Here is my mom's sad pumpkin. She kind of gave up, you can see, compared to my massive one in my greenhouse. Here is my one again. So you just saw my mom's and here is mine. But also the reason why hers didn't do so well is because it wasn't actually the right season for them or the right weather. So hers didn't grow so well outside of the greenhouse. But you still can see that is pretty huge. There you have it. I just showed you my aquaponic system. So it is actually a hybrid aquaponic system because I have the floating rafts as well as the hydroton. That is what a hybrid aquaponic system is in case you're wondering. So that was just a quick update, showed you progress I am in and some of the plans I might have for later, but if you have any questions or comments, just leave them below, and otherwise, thank you for watching. Check out my pigs as well, they're getting big, and look at these guys, spoiled, huh? Yeah, what's up? You still hungry? They're always hungry. Huh? You guys are nice and fat. <laughs>